It's only two stories high, but from this Minneapolis roof, you can see Minnesota's renewable energy potential. Um, so we're looking at uh, a solar installation of 34.4 kilowatts. Here at the Phillips Eco Enterprise Center, high-tech renewable energy powers the building. But if you ask Carl Samuelson of the Green Institute, he'll tell you that the quickest way to save energy in your home isn't necessarily with big installations. You know, a lot of people come asking questions about, you know, can I put solar on my house or, you know, how do I, you know, can I put geothermal in? And those are really good systems and they can, you know, they will make you carbon neutral and they, you know, can reduce your bills. But I always tell people that, um, you know, by, by focusing on energy efficiency in their home, they're, they're going to get a quick payback on almost everything they do. In his role in the Metro Clean Energy Resource Team, Samuelson coordinates neighborhood workshops and home energy visits to improve energy efficiency. Some people are concerned that they're spending too much energy, or, you know, money on their energy bills. Some people want to, you know, um, reduce their carbon footprint. Others just kind of are interested. What can they do? You know, energy efficiency is just one of those issues that kind of transcends, you know, political divides and, and economic divides and, you know, philosophical. Like, everybody finds a reason to come to it. The workshop covers common sense solutions, like reducing phantom energy load. Having all of those cords plugged in and not turning them off, how much a waste of energy that is. Everything from the heat to the lighting to the water. We got a better sense of what those costs are and how we might save on our uh, energy bills. Energy efficiency programs like this one really exist because of you know, the Minnesota legislature being really uh, forward thinking and prioritizing um, renewable and energy efficiency uh, in, in a mix to our energy solutions.